Hey, what's going on, guys? It's the day after Thanksgiving, uh, Black Friday out there. Um, I know there was a lot of deals at Walmart, Target. I know Target for sure has the two uh, tins, um, all the Evolution tins, for two tins for $19.99. Now, I purchased those online, so I'll be getting those in maybe like a week. Um, I purchased two of each uh, set, two Jolteon, Vaporeon, two of each, obviously, one each to keep my sealed collection and the other ones to open up for the channel. Um, so the only place that I really went to today was actually GameStop and I need to go to Home Depot because I work as a carpenter so I'm looking for tools but they didn't open until a bit later so I said forget that. Um, so what I have here today is uh, something that I found that was pretty good because I haven't really pulled anything so crazy from it so I wanted to get um, a chance of pulling something pretty good. I got Crown Zenith ETBs. Now let me turn this camera around and show you guys. what I These three bad, yeah, this is my son's formula, sorry, my bad, my bad, uh, I mean you know those of you that know, those of you that have kids, this is a house, yeah, as you can see the background, sorry for that, these are for my uh, toddlers can, you know, pick up on math when they're doing their homework, it's very easy, I just try to help them as much as I can. So, what I got here from GameStop is Crown Zenith ETBs, now yes, it is uh, posted uh, $49.99 brand new, and the pro membership is $47.49, uh, $47 but... For Black Friday deal, if you go online on the website, GameStop does honor all GameStops because I went to two GameStops this morning. Um, all GameStops do honor the prices that they have online. So this one here, for the if you're a pro member, I actually paid, I believe it was $32 and like 40 cents per ETB. But that's only for a Black Friday day special. So I purchased three of these up because I still haven't pulled a gold gold card or like a secret ultra rare. I haven't really done anything. That's spectacular for Crown Zenith. So I figure, you know what? These are at a decent price. I can't buy these at a booster box. These are only one of those sets, just like just like 151, where you can't buy a, a booster box. You can only buy ETBs or UPCs or something like that. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to get these cracked open. Um, now, you guys already know what it comes in, so I'm going to skip right to the part where I open up every single one and just go right to the packs. Boom. Okay, so what we have here is 10 packs per ETB, so we have a total of 30 packs, and these are your code cards that come with every ETB, and of course the promo cards that come with each one, the Lucario V-Star. I did uh, just upload a video, I believe yesterday morning or yesterday afternoon, um, with the Beckett submission that I had a return. Didn't really do so well. Um, Beckett is a really uh, hard grader. They, they're very tough on grading, but I actually like it that way because then when you get like an awesome uh, grader on the card, you know it's worth it. So, any further ado, let's get cracking on these openings. <clears throat> so, uh, and for those of you that do watch, uh, I will be giving away these um, uh, like bulk to a gentleman that I do work with. Work alongside, I'm sorry. Uh, he actually um, gives it to his uh, sons. He has twin sons. Uh, for the gentleman that knows who I'm talking about, I'm not going to display names. Oh, look at that. You got a trainer gallery Mew. That's, cool. That's a rare, baby. Boom. I'll take that. I haven't pulled that yet at all. Man, That's sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Trainer, Mally, trainer gallery Mew. I have not pulled that one as of yet. And this one is a single star rare. It's a... Uh, actually pretty good it's in pretty good condition you got the galarian ponyta um you got the remoran i believe that is or cramoran that's pretty cool i'll take that any card that has like mew mewtwo anyone from the uh, kanto is actually a pretty decent hit regardless of the card i mean i i shouldn't really say regardless of the card but it's a fair hit so this is from everything i'm doing some etb box number one and sorry for my jacked up uh fingers i mean i do work with my hands quite frequently and Today, I haven't really played in a long time, but I did play uh, only one game of handball, and this is what happens in the cold. And then, for those of you that are like, why are you playing handball in the winter? Because in the winter, we play something called steam ball. We uh, get a propane tank or any kind of um, one of those little uh, round canisters that you heat up uh, food with. Um, put that under a pot, water, boil the handballs, and the handballs come at you like three to five times faster, and that's how we play. And we play that during the winter. Three, four... So, and I haven't really been playing because, you know, I have a newborn son, those of you guys that really know, and my job is to go to work and come home, go to work, come home. That's, 
That's all my life uh, is all about. And it's worth it. It is so worth it. I have no problem working all day, every day, coming right home because I have a beautiful family that I come home to. I have a wonderful wife that supports me for, you know, spending, you know, a little bit of the money that I make on myself uh, doing this, uh, for the Pokemon cards. And I have to, you know, tip my hat off to her because uh, the things that I like to do, although they do cost a little bit of money, she understands that I work my ass off for it. Excuse my language. But I do work my ass off for it. And she has absolutely no problem. Uh, she never wants to change anything about me, change anything about who I am and what I do. So I tip my hat off to her for saying thank you because it takes, uh, you know, behind every, you know, good man, there's a phenomenal woman. So I tip my hat off to her and just, I couldn't be more lucky to have a woman like her that has nothing but support for me. So thank you, babe. Shut up. Good. It's a good thing I stopped before she came in. Good. Yeah, she tells me to shut up. See, see, that's why you should never, you know, compliment a woman. They have no respect for you. What? <laughs> Mo, give us something back here. Oh, Grant, I never pulled this guy ever. And you got a double hit. Okay, okay. You got a Zera Aura V Star and a Grant. Grant, I've never seen before. And a, okay, okay, double hit, double banger. That's what they would say, double banger. I do. I have been uh, learning how to um, pick up on that app, uh, CapCut. Where you know editing my uh, videos and you know, show some pricing in there, put a little bit of music. So it does take me a little bit longer because I'm still new to it. But I actually want you guys to be entertained a little bit more. I want you guys to enjoy my videos, you know, that much more. So I will try to make it a little bit more interesting instead of just my boring ass voice. So with that being said, let's uh, keep it going. You know what I'm saying? Let's try to get some hits, baby. Oh yeah. So this is all I'm getting, and I do I did stock up on the uh, two pack blisters of Evolving Skies and uh, Chilling Rain uh, from Walgreens, and I was also and I was also a little uh, fortunate enough to come across a few of those at Walgreens that actually had the Cosmic Eclipse and Breakpoint. So I have a few of those. I'm gonna save anything from X and Y. Okay, Toxicity, and you got a Nessa. So this one I will give to the gentleman and his sons because I believe I have pulled this one before, the Trainer Gallery of Toxicity. So I will give that to him along with his uh, Zera Aura. <clears throat> so, I've lost my train of thought, sorry. Oh yeah, sorry. Um, anything from X and Y I'm trying to hold on to for a little bit of time. And maybe opening up as my channel grows, as like a celebratory, you know, pack, crack opening, so I have something vintage to open. As of right now, it's not really vintage. I mean, it is, you know, hard to come by, but it's still not vintage enough to be worthy of, uh, like, say, if I reach, like, the milestone of having a thousand subscribers, that's, I would like to, you know, crack something open and, you know, do some giveaways then. When I'm doing a little bit more, like, when, I'm, when this channel is bringing in some kind of revenue, where I'm able to support uh, my own habit instead of actually taking it out of my own pocket and taking away from my family, I will actually do that, do giveaways and everything like that. So as of right now, I'm just gonna do it as I have extra money. Like I did a shit ton, ton of overtime, so therefore I'm able to, oh, nice. Reverse Hollow Fire Energy. Zero Aura, wow, Zero Aura is pretty popular in this set. Uh, this one, if you guys have uh, seen the video, I have pulled the one from Obsidian Flames. I pulled the uh, Hyper Rare Gold uh, Basic Fire Energy. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think that might have been a, I want to say a Beckett 8.5 or 9. I'm not 100% on that. You guys can always, you know, check in uh, the previous video I had. It, actually, it just says, um, I label it as Beckett Submission Return. So, you can check it out with the grades I got. I got a, a break here. And I can never do what all these guys do, Pokey Rev, all these, they hold the cards right here and just do one card at a time. I don't know, maybe it's just they have, like, office hands or, like, soft you know, business people hands, but I have like working man's hands, so I can't do that. I don't know why. I have no moisture in my hands because maybe I'm a real man, baby. Yeah. Nah. I love watching Pokey Rev. Pokey Rev, if this video ever comes across you, or you ever come across this video, uh, I'm a major fan of you. Cool Trainer Ryan, I love that guy. His laugh is so contagious. I I watch everything he does just for his, his reaction. <laughs> And the hate that he has for Leonhart, uh, it just brings me nothing but joy. I don't know why, but it it really does. <laughs> like, fuck Leonhart, let's go. <laughs> Excuse the language. I'm trying to, you know, make this uh, channel as, uh, you know, children-friendly as possible. 
Um, so I'm trying to keep it clean, but it's just, you know, some things you just gotta, you can't really unfilter, you know, you have to be real about it. And I know there are a lot of cards I still want to pull from, okay, the like Duskos uh, Trainer Gallery and the Zashian. Right. I know there are quite a few cards that I still do want to pull from 151, which I haven't been able to. But then again, I really haven't opened that many 151, to tell you the truth. I opened up, um, I believe, I think I only opened up one UPC. No, oh, I'm sorry. I opened up one UPC and I opened up, I believe, I want to say two... ETBs, I believe. So I haven't really um, had that much luck in it. I did pull, however, I did pull um, the two Erica, uh, Erica's Invitation, which is pretty good, and the Blastoise. Uh, so I can't say that I had bad luck, but from the odds that you see everybody else online, I don't know if they just filter out only their hits and don't really show you everything that they pulled. I think the odds were in their favor more than mine but then again they probably purchased like a hundred packs or something like that i think uh, my biggest opening on one thing one time was my most expensive one was probably when i did the uh 99 pack opening of celebrations and with that i ended it with the japanese promo uh card that was a one pack uh card and that one got me the zapdos and oh it's like a double hit here what we got here oh Boom, yeah we got the zero aura v star Holy shit. I don't know. If, I'm sorry. Sorry for the language. And bam, you got a Rotom eh. V-Star. Now, I, don't, I know this is a trainer gallery, but I don't know if this is like an alternate art. I got to look into this one. But I think it's just a gallery. But this is awesome, man. Nice double hit. I'll take it. Is there... Uh, the baby's up. All right. Um, yeah, I'm sorry for, you know, like being distracted. But, you know, when you have a newborn child, you know, no matter what happens, they come first. This is a Rodon V. I don't. Yeah, I believe I, I'll give this one to the gentleman and his and his sons. They'll probably enjoy that one. So after I make every video, I will you know take my time, try to edit it out so you guys not edit it out, but I'll edit it so that you guys can see the pricing and all the prices that I do that I show. I go as per the date of I'm making the video as what was last sold on eBay. That's where I get mine. A lot of guys that do TCG play, this is a diddle. A lot of guys that do TCG pricing. Those prices, in my own opinion, not a fact, my own opinion, they fluctuate like not even daily, like hourly. It's crazy. But like I said, that's only my opinion. That's, that's not a fact at all. So I don't want to make it seem like I'm talking just gibberish or nonsense. I like to always back up everything I say with facts and actual statistics. But... From my own opinion, I wouldn't. I don't go based off that. I go off last sales. So here you got a uh, lost vacuum. I don't know why, but okay. Uh, electric, spelled different. Ultra Ball, Energy Switch, Scyther, Riolu, Young Goose, Cherubi, uh, Heliolisk. Interesting. And Executor. Nothing much here. And for the uh, people in. Uh, the Great Britain, London, England, all that stuff. It's not... Uh, it's Crown Zenith. Zenith. And cool... Tr and pokey cuz, oh my god. Rayquaza! Rayquaza! So, and... Oh, come on. You can't fool me. That's a Power Ranger stuff. You can't fool me. No, sorry. That's Dragon Ball Z right there. Nothing. So, I haven't pulled a gold card yet. Not a single gold card. And I've seen people pull gold cards like the first day this came off. They were pulling gold cards left and right, left and right. I find that crazy. I find it really crazy. They're just pulling, you know, like gold cards left and right, left and right. And I'm pulling like two things. Jack and... Okay, Charizard, Charizard. Now, this is probably like the only thing of Charizard that I would say that's not really valuable. Except uh, this one and like the Pokemon Go regular holographic Charizard, not the Radiant. But Charizard, I'll give that one away. I know this is Zard Hunters and I'm always on the hunt for Charizard. I'm always excited to see a Charizard, but uh, when it doesn't retain value or doesn't go up in value, it's like, eh, is it really worth it? But here I'm looking for one of the big three. I'm looking for the Palkia, I'm looking for the Dialga, or I'm looking for the Giratina. That's what I'm looking for, those gold cards. I would like to see at least one gold card. That would be awesome. That would make my 
Oh, okay. I have not pulled this Pikachu ever. So I'm happy with that right there. Boom. That's good for me. <laughs> Pikachu, everyone knows, but this one I haven't pulled either. So this one I will take. That's awesome. Thank you very much. I'll take, I, I'll count that as a hit. Although it's a trainer gallery and not the main card hit, I still count this as a hit. 100%. Boom. Let's go. Uh, three more packs left in uh, ETB number two. Hopefully we can find some magic here. Like a main hit. We haven't, I think there is like, like one guaranteed like main hit in each one. Don't quote me on that, like I said. But as for the odds, I think that's what it is. Bishop, Graveler, Pokemon Catcher, Snow Run, Larvesta, Tangula, Baltoy, Meow, Dusk, I got already. <coughs> And a Sims here. So, that's cool I got. I'll give it to the gentleman saying that he has uh, twins. One each. Boom, boom, boom. Perfect. Boom. Sleeve these bad boys up. Boom. Toma. And here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's see. Last two from ETB number two. Let's see what we got here. Kill cat. Boom! Charashi. One of them, two of them, three of them, four of them. Boom, boom, boom. Zero. V-Star, Bishar, Graveler, Pokemon Center, Chat Side, Yanma, Pawnyard, Bidoof. Not a ditto. No, that's not Pokemon Go. Potion, Larry, Laron, and uh, Yan Mega. Nada. Nothing. Zip. Zilch. Proxy for me, and of course we get the Zilch. Come on, baby. Let's go. Let's make some action here. Come on, let's make it interesting. Come on, make it worth it, baby. Make it worth it, yeah. Cool cat. One of them, two of them, three of them, four of them. You know what? I'm feeling lucky. I'm feeling like this one is going to be a hit regardless. So let's just put it here. Let's put it here. Put it here. Boom. This is going to be a hit. This is going to be a hit. So we're going to show that one last. It's, it's, it's going to be a hit. And then I'm, I am going to have a trainer gallery here. Let's see. Boom, 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 trainer gallery. Nothing. to do. All right. Let's see. I feel like it's gonna be a hit. Bam! Oh, oh my God! What? What? what yeah. No, no, you're not wasting my sleeve, bro. Get out of here. Get out of here. Wasting my sleeve. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. So, out of uh, ETB number two, we got. Let's see. ETB number two, we got one, two, three. These three and these two from ETB one, ETB two. So, I mean, the odds are um, this side not not great. Don't get me wrong. Everything can always get. Be improved now do i wish everyone to get great pulls absolutely but if everyone pulls magic then guess what the value of these would decrease because there'll be so many heavy hitters hit hits and pop and circulation so it's not worth it oh look a double shinx shinx, shinx and volcarona boom nada so oh for one in etb uh, number three hey hey all right what's going on here it's like fused together Come on, you son of a Brooklyn Bridge. Forget about it, huh? Oh, yeah, in case you guys haven't uh, realized, I am from New York. So, yeah, with the accent and shizzles nets. Boom! The V-Star Break. Digging Duo. Shaman. Crushing Hammer. Riolu. Starly. Scyther. Emoga. Young Goose. Altaria Trainer Gallery. And a Whale Lord. Okay. I believe I do have this uh, Altaria, but I will give it to a friend of mine, like I said. Boom. So, over uh, two of them. Is that over two? Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and this is number eight. Yeah, over two. And the good thing I like about this um, ETB, now I don't, don't, like I said, please don't quote me on anything unless I actually fact check it and then tell you it's a fact. But from my past experience, there's not that many ETBs that have 10 packs at the 10 or 12 that comes from a Pokemon Center version. Everything else, e regular ETBs that you buy at the store on Amazon, it always has like nine or, yeah, it ha has nine, which is a really odd number. So for this one that has 10, I find that really rare. Unless, unless it's only the packs that have 10. Okay, is that V? Unless the packs that have 10 are only because they're 10 because there's no like booster box. Like if that makes any sense to anyone. Um, so I would say that's fair to like equal it out, but it doesn't really equal it out. You know what I'm saying? Like as per value, but most of the ETBs that have nine packs in it, they do offer a booster box. Crown Zenith, no booster box. 151, no booster box. Um, what else has no booster box? Uh, and it's only lately that I think they're being really like lazy with it. 
like the 151 ETB versus the 151 Pokemon Center ETB, same exact size. Normally you can see a massive like size difference in the box itself and like the, the design on the box as well. The 151, they got just pure lazy, although they did have pretty good eyes. Oh, oh shit, where are your yeah. Charizard? Yeah, baby. Take it, take it, take it. I totally forgot he was in here. No recollection that he was in here at all. My bad, but I will take that bad boy to the bank. And he's a pretty good, uh, might be slightly off center, but other than that, I think it's pretty good. Slight, like the ever so slight. I think PSA, I'm still awaiting um, a submission from them. Uh, sorry, a return. But um, I believe PSA has, uh, what, what do you call it? They have some play. Like if you have a P, like this, this could pass for a PSA 10. Like you have some play on like a centering issue. Like if it's like an 80 20, they'll still pass it off as a 10. Now if it's like the 70 30, like no, you're not getting a 10. You're definitely getting a 9. But they have, you know, I guess some way in your favor that they'll allow. I guess you can see. One, two, three, four. So I'm actually happy with, with, with that. Anytime I can pull a Charizard, by all means, I'm happy. So one, I think there's a pretty good hit back here, I think. Don't quote me on it because I can't do that one card at a time thing. <coughs> Absolutely. Oh, well, there's nothing. I guess I was just seeing things. Okay, Absolutely. Nothing. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to, you know, I try to get three boxes so I can, you know, have a higher chance of pulling something, higher odds, but... I guess it's just straight up 100% by the luck of the draw. Luck of, it's the luck of the person. If it's your day, it's your day. And I have had my good days. I pulled the Moonbrion. I pulled um, the uh, Shiny Fates uh, Charizard back-to-back -back days. Like two days in a row, I pulled the Shiny Fates Charizard. VMAX. I don't know who could do that. I did sell them. They both got 9.5s on Beckett. So I did sell them. Both of them, but I don't know that many people that can do it like that. I know Pokey Chloe pulled like what, like three Moonbrions in like one pack rip uh, session, which is pretty insane, insane. Oh, Turtwig, that's that's pretty cool. Haven't pulled that one yet. Haven't seen these Pokemon in quite some time either. To say the truth, I remember exactly where I was uh, for the Pokemon Go game when uh, Turtwig. Was the community day? This was in 2019 of September. I remember that specifically because, as a New York uh, City carpenter, uh, we have a chance to go to Vegas, and I was in the airport on my way coming home that Sunday from Vegas, and that's when community day for Church Week was. And I believe the classic community day for Pokemon Go coming up is going to be Mareep. Now, for that, I have a Shundo, so I'm not really going to go crazy for... I still play the game, not as much as, as I used to when it first came out. I mean, during COVID, anyway, because COVID was like, Pokemon blew up, and that's the Pokemon Go. That's when they uh, started doing the uh, raiding remote passes, all that stuff. That's when, yeah, that's actually when uh, remote raiding became a thing. People were spoofing everywhere, and the Pokemon card... Business just blew up. Like there's no like just came made a massive comeback. Alright, come on. Last two cards. Come on. Let's last two packs. Let's make something here. Let's make something here. Soul Rock, love this, Chata, Yanma, Pranya, Bidoof. Oh, Sin oh, Seer, yeah. baby. Let's go. Haven't pulled that guy. Let's go, baby. That I will take. That is a good hit for me. I am happy with that. I am happy with that. Sin Seer V Star. Now, this is a trainer gallery, but I see this as an alt art. I know it's probably not going to be marked or labeled as an alt art, but I see it like that. But this is very rare to get. I've only seen like two people pull this. So for me to get this, I'm very happy with that. I'm satisfied. I know some of you will be like, oh, wow, you're happy about that. Uh, yeah, when you had a, you know, a pack rip like, like me, you'll be happy with pretty much anything that you get right now. So I'm pretty satisfied. One, two, three, four, boom. So today's haul that I got from GameStop was these three. I got um, a building battle, um, Obsidian Flames, which is weird because it only came with four packs. I thought all building battle come with six packs, but they only came with four. And also I got the Charizard Obsidian Flames Lunchbox tin. That I'm keeping for my sealed collection. And here we got Croc 
Go rock and... Oh. Dragagle. Okay. So that's all we got on today's opening. We got the three promos. And just to recap, here we go. We got the Simis here, the Radiant Charizard, the uh, uh, Trainer Gallery Pikachu, the Zera Aura V Star, the Zera Aura V Star as well. I believe this one counts as an alternate art because, I mean, come on, two V Stars, Zera Aura. I mean, I believe one of them going to be that. The Grant Trainer and the Trainer Gallery Mew. So I'm very satisfied with this opening. And uh, after this opening, I, like I said, I will edit uh, the video. Try to put in some uh, some music that I won't get copyrighted and won't get shut off, won't get canceled. I guess you can say is the new terminology now. Won't get canceled. And uh, we're gonna put up our Christmas tree, bruh. Yep. Me and the family put up the Christmas tree. I haven't had a Christmas tree for about I don't know, maybe 18, 20 years. I haven't had a Christmas tree, and that's being realistic. I'm not even BSing anybody. So this is my first Christmas tree in our new home with our new family. And we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it very memorable. I will be posting another video, most likely when I get the PSA submission return. And until then, I'd like to say thank you very much for all of you guys that uh, support my channel, that watch the whole video. If you guys watch the whole video, I'm so grateful for you. Even if you don't, thank you for even stopping by. You know, uh, if you can, you know, just hit that like button. And if you're not a subscriber, uh, it'll mean so much to me just to hit that subscribe button, just so my channel can grow, so I can spread, you know, uh, my love for the, <clears throat> sorry, my love for the hobby. Uh, just like everyone else, I'm very grateful for everything that I have in my life. I'm grateful I have a job. Uh, and I'm saying these things because, you know, Thanksgiving was last night. You know, it's always great, you know, to show people what you're thankful for. And I'm thankful for having a job so I can continue to support my family. I'm grateful for the family that I have. I'm grateful for the things that I'm able to do. I'm able to, you know, uh, come and go as I please. I'm able to go to work every morning, have my health, uh, have the hobby, and have everyone else in my life that's just bringing good positivity to me. So thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate it once again. Until next time. I believe next time will be the PSA submission. I'm not going to buy any more cards until then. So, Merry Christmas if I'm not there. But happy holidays to everyone else that doesn't celebrate the holidays that we do. So, I want to leave you guys out. Happy holidays. Until next time.